Hi, welcome to BYOB Website Tutorials. My name is Rick Anderson, and I'm going to show you the slam dunk easiest way to add a, a custom image to your thesis website. Now, thesis makes this quite easy. Uh, it has a uh, header image uh, upload feature, which will allow you to place the image uh, quite simply. So let's go to a site that I've built for the purpose of doing this, and let's go over to WordPress Admin. Now that um, that facility for adding the header image is under Thesis Header Image, and all you do here is choose the file. However, before you create your header image file, it's a good idea for you to take a look and see what the optimal header image width is right here in this current configuration the optimum width is 956 pixels and this is based on the width of the columns and the size of the uh, text and uh, what thesis does is it calculates what the what the width would be if it wanted to start at this edge and end at that edge so it's giving you a hint that should be 956 pixels wide now it's always best, I believe, just to create the image so that it fits this size um, rather than using an image that's too small. But let's go ahead and take a look at how this works. So let's choose a file. You're picking a file off of your computer at the moment. And here's the file that's the perfect size. We're going to look at a variety of different options here. So we've uploaded the image to our uh, site here now and it's showing me a preview of what that will look like. So if we come back over to our site, you can see that the image, which was 956 pixels wide, fits perfectly from the edge of the navigation menu to the edge of the navigation menu. And if you can see the edges of the columns, you would see that it lines up with the edges of the columns. So it's exactly the right size at 956 pixels wide. So uh, there's an interesting little note here that says if your image is wider than this, don't worry. Thesis is going to automatically resize it for you. Well, let's take a look at how that works. So if we choose our file and we come back over here and instead use the oversized version, this one is 1,050 pixels wide. So it's a full 100 pixels wider than is will fit. So if we upload that, you can see it didn't cut it off, so it's showing us what happened and what it looks like. If we come over here and refresh this, you can see that what it's done is rather than cutting off the edge at 956 pixels, it scaled the image. So it has pushed the image in this way and then scaled it down so that it's not as tall as it was before, but its length fits inside the 956 pixels. Well, that might sound like a great idea to you, but if you look at this, you'll see that the lettering here is quite a bit fuzzier. Um, and that's because uh, HTML isn't really that great at resizing images. So uh, the, the best thing for you to do is, in a situation like this, is to make sure that the image is the correct size because uh, photo editing programs are going to do a, an excellent job of scaling the image so that it's the right size. Okay, so let's, um, uh, let's look at another example. What happens if you are quite a bit smaller than the um, uh, than that 956 pixels wide. Uh, this file is 685 pixels, so it's you know um, 250, 270 pixels smaller. If we come back over and look at the site, you can see it does not stretch it out. What it does is it takes the image and it places it on the left hand side, and then shows the image in its uh, normal size and anything that's left over is left over space. You can see that where the image is it's clickable but where the image isn't it isn't clickable. So you know if there's some reason why this appearance is appropriate to you then this may work very well f for you but um, the uh, but this is that's what it's going to do. Now it is theoretically possible using custom CSS to center this uh, image, but 
you have to do that using your custom CSS file. It's not going to be able to uh, be adjusted uh, from your dashboard like inserting this is. Okay, let's look at our final version of this, which is when it's just a little bit too small. This is 920 pixels instead of 956 pixels. So if we uh, come over to the site and refresh it, you can see that it comes over here to the edge, but it does not extend all the way to the edge of the navigation bar or to the edge of this uh, column. Now, if you don't want to go to the effort of making sure that this image is the right size. You can, of course, reduce the size of these columns so that it fits. And we'll take a look at how that works. If we come back to the dashboard and go down to design options and then go to our columns, we could make this column, instead of 600 pixels, we could make it 570 pixels, at which point we should be fine. If we go to header image here, you can see that the header image needs to be 926 pixels wide, which is what we have. So if we refresh this, now it does in fact work. So if you're close, uh, you know, it, there's no reason why you can't just adjust the width of your um, columns so that they fit the image. But I would only do that if you're close. If you're not close, I just open up your copy of Photoshop or Paint.net and resize your header image so that it's the right width for the size of the site that you want to do. Okay, that wraps up this little tutorial on how to add an image to your thesis header um, simply and easily. I hope you found it useful.